An important part of hardware assurance at FIX is also using digital cameras to take pictures of PCBs. So an example of the setup that we usually use is right here, um, where we have some sort of lighting setup. Um, we have a PCB and we have a Nikon D850 DSLR camera. Uh, this is capable of taking pretty high resolution photos and it can fit the entire PCB in the field of view. One of the reasons we want to do this is because unlike the other equipment we have at the FIX lab, Digital images taken by these cameras are quick and they are easy to process. So we can do this almost in real time with lots and lots of samples rather than small areas on one or two samples um, at random. So the, uh, I'll, I'll work through the imaging setup that we have here and just explain some of the important pieces of this process. So as, uh, at the start, you can see that we have our lighting set up and we have a um, backboard and we try to keep things as uniform as possible. One of the ways that we achieve this is also taking pictures of an x-ray color checker first. And what this allows us to do is calibrate all of our images for our imaging environment instead of just taking pictures of PCBs um, and processing those directly. Uh, and this makes, sure, uh, this makes sure that we have as little variation as possible coming from our environment and we can focus just on the colors of the PCB itself. So once we get a picture of this color checker, the next thing that we do is put a PCB, this is an example PCB that we have. Um, we'll, we'll take a picture, we'll, we'll first tag the PCB so that we can identify it uniquely, especially if we have multiple copies of the same board. Um, but after we tag it, we'll put it down in the imaging area and um, just as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward process. We will um, start, the, start the imaging process. We'll take a couple pictures of it, see which ones work and then we'll, we'll perform a lot of image processing tasks on it. The goal of, of this whole process is to be able to find individual components on a PCB, figure out what their type is, is it a resistor, is it a capacitor, an IC, so on. And then from there we will try to be able to uniquely identify a component versus everything else. And one of the goals of this is to produce a bill of materials automatically. Uh, the name of that project is Autobomb, and you can read more about it uh, uh, on our website. Um, but essentially what we want to be able to do is figure out if any counterfeit components are present on one of these boards, or if it's been modified maliciously by some company or individual along the processing chain. And uh, being able to take all these images real time, being able to analyze hundreds and hundreds of samples, uh, that's a really powerful technique that lets us provide hardware assurance at um, both small and large levels of the PCB supply chain.